It's Monday the 6th of December and we're here in Barwell in Leicestershire at the George Ward Centre. Um, first time I've been here. It's been open for about five months now and we've come down to have a chat with Matthew Holbert. Let's see if we can cut the sun out and see all the things that are going on. So as well as the George Ward Centre there's a library here as well. And uh, let's see if we can catch up with Matthew Holbert. He's one of our community reporters for Citizen's Eye. He's involved in Hilltop Radio, Vine FM, Hinkley Times, and here we are. There's quite a lot going on. It's nice and warm in here, that's for sure. We're going to catch up with Matthew. How are you, Matthew? Okay? I'm good. How are you doing? Not too bad. Thanks good. very much. Thanks for agreeing to talk to us today. No, my great, very great pleasure. Uh, having, um, we've had the Community News Cafe this morning, which is great. It's good to uh, catch up with people and tell them what's going on. So tell us a little bit about the George Wall Centre and maybe give us a bit of a tour around as well. Well, we opened back in July, but our history goes a lot further back than that. Many people from the Baal area will know that we used to have the Cedars um, community building. Now, sadly, towards the end of its time it ran into a state of disrepair and people weren't using it quite as much as they once did um, and so sadly d despite the efforts of many local people the cedars closed down mm. and then the money made from the sale of mm. the cedars was kind of put into safekeeping mm. um, and eventually 10 years later and thanks to the hard work of a great number of local people we now have this wonderful building mm. right here in the heart of mm. the village. Mm. Um, it's a community building, that's its primary purpose, is to serve the people of Bowl and children in the local area. Um, and uh, would you like me to show you around? Yes, give us a tour around, that's a bit of a whiz, that's cool. Great. Well, this is our, um, as you may be able to tell, this is our cafe area, um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's almost always very, very busy. And um, I can attest that the coffee and mince pies were very lovely. nice, that's very good. Um, and we have wonderful volunteers who, who, who are working here, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and so you can buy coffee and tea and hot chocolate and cakes. I've had too many of them, as you can uh, well tell. Um, and then you just want to follow me through here, John. Yep. Now, I'm afraid it's in the dark uh, at the moment, but this is our Hall of Friendship. This is our sports hall. Um, and the reason it's called the Hall of Friendship is we, because we ask local schools to ask their school children in the village, at the junior school and the infant school, to name a room in the centre and they came up with Hall of Friendship, which I really like. Um, but in the sports hall, you can play football, you can play badminton, five-a-side football you can play. Mm. Uh, you can play badminton and a number of other sports as well. So kickboxing, is that where your kickboxing takes place? No, our kickboxing takes place in a room that I'll show you shortly. Oh, right, OK. you could do it in there. There's no reason why uh, yep. okay. not to. And I notice there's a multi-access centre here as well. There is. Um, our multi-access centre is to do with the library, which you might just want to pan around. And okay. The, um, the library are here in the building as well, which is absolutely okay, fantastic. Again, yeah. 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 It's not, not open on the Mondays? Not, not open on Mondays and Wednesdays, but open the rest of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's much bigger than the old library in Barwell. And it has a full set of computers which um, have the internet on, which is fantastic. And so the library is very well used. This is our youth room, appropriately called the Cedars, Cedars yep. after our predecessor building. And um, this, is, this is a really lovely, colourful environment. And on a Monday night, we have our youth drop in for 11 to 17 year olds. Already very popular, but we'd love to see more of the area's kids come down. Um, we've got air hockey, which the kids love. We've got pool tables, and um, kids can play pool. We've got a badminton table um, through there as well. Um, we've got TVs that kids can use. So um, our, our youth drop-in is very popular, which is fantastic. Um, shall we take a look at the offices? Obviously, when you see one office, you've seen them all, but we have offices that you can rent out as well. Okay. And this is for kind of business startups? Or? That's right. Yeah. This is for the police are going to be using it yep. um, for some of their surgeries, which is going to be really great. We're really pleased to have the police here. Um, and um, it may be soon that the Borough Council starts to use it as well um, here in Bar. 
which is fantastic. So we've got our offices. And I'll, just have a look I'll have a quick look out here, see if I can get it in the, out behind, the sunlight. But behind the building. The sunlight's quite bright. But it is today, isn't it? Uh, now, now, at the moment, yeah. um, th this may not look fantastic, but what we're going to be having is um, our own community garden. Yeah. And as part of that, we're, um, I know we're going to be using people from the Prince's Trust and hopefully um, some former offenders to, to help um, build the garden as well. Um, and we're going to have a graffiti wall, which was something that I was really insistent on as uh, having, and, and lots of other people as well. Because, um, you know, kids... Graffiti where we don't want it is bad, but graffiti as an art form is good, and so that's what we... So we're encouraging it that yeah, way. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so that's that. And then just one more room to show you. As I say, we had a big opening day on the 3rd of July, which went very, very well. And we're seeing more and more people coming to the music centre. Because relatively, I mean, five months isn't very long. Uh, no, it's not very long so at all. We're, we're still establishing ourselves to the people. Yeah. And this is our David Herbert room. David Herbert is the biographer of our benefactor, George Ward. Um, for those people who don't know, George Ward was a boot and shoe employer in Barwell, a really big employer back when the boot and shoe trade was the life and soul of Barwell, sadly hasn't been for a very long time. And he went on to be the Liberal MP for the area, um, and when he died, he, he left a great legacy behind him. Um, so this is a multi-use room, so you can use this room for whatever you want, really. Small conferences or talks. Um, what are some of the groups we have in here? We have yoga in here. So um, they, uh, this is, that's the reason why it's currently got nothing in, because the yoga people don't want anything in here. They just use the room, mm. bring their mats and do their thing. And then we have sugar craft in here, which is brilliant. So this is our multi-use room. You can use it for whatever you want. Now you've actually got quite a lot of car parking, haven't you? It's quite a large car park we've as got, well. So from a conference point of view, that must be good. Yeah. At the back of the building, mm. um, which is our car park. The car park at the front of the building, you can use it if there's spaces, but that's not our car park. That's a public car park. Um, so from a conference point of view, if people were looking for somewhere to hold meetings and stuff like that, you can accommodate all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, yes, it's, it's the perfect place. So, so that's, a, that's a tour around okay. um, the George Ward Centre. Now you're doing a, a regular newsletter as well that people can pick up, can't they, in yeah, the library? Yeah, an internal newsletter called GWC News, which has got information about our room rental costs, um, information about some of the special events that we have here at the centre. Um, in the new year, we're going to be restarting our indoor boot sales um, on the first and third Saturday of every month. Um, so that's from 9am to 12 midday. So if you want to come and be a booter, very reasonable prices, and obviously you take home all the profits that you make uh, from that. And if you're a local person and you want to come and um, buy some things in the new year, that would be fantastic as well. Now, we're looking to have a regular slot for the Community News Cafe here in your wonderful cafe, but we haven't decided what day yet, so we'll, we'll get people to look out for that. Now, also, you have a regular slot uh, on Hilltop Radio, but also the centre's publicised quite a bit on Oak FM, isn't it? That's right. We're really grateful to our friends at uh, Oak FM, which is, for people who don't live in this part of Leicestershire, it's our local commercial radio station. And um, a special mention to Tom Baldry at Oak FM, who's one of their advertising guys, who's been fantastic with putting our events for free um, on the website. And then what happens is their DJs read off the website, so it gets on air as well, which is fantastic. And you mentioned Hilltop Radio. That's the local community internet radio station run totally by volunteers. Um, and I present on there on a Friday midday till 3 and a Sunday 5 to 6.30. So if you want to tune in, it's hilltop-radio.com. Brilliant. Matthew, thank you very much. Thank you, John.